Wait a second. Hi. Uh, yes, everything is right. All right. Okay. So, welcome back. Uh, we had a short um, technical problem, but now we're back, and I think the best way for us will be to start from the beginning. We had very short activity at the beginning, so I don't think uh, it will be um, a problem. So, hi again. Um, we're back, and I hope that everything will be okay right now. Um, so, today, uh, Michal, will you please delete the line from the screen? So, guys, today, of course, um, as I said before, um, we are practicing uh, the sound that we did before, which is voiced V, so voice TH. And, and hi, who is with me? Say hi, let me know. Um, first, what you need to know about the sound is how to produce the sound. We're producing the sound by placing the tongue between the teeth and creating a vibration in the, in the tongue, right? Like this. Yeah? Right now, what you need to do is take out your tongue and don't be afraid, don't be shy. I think that you are alone, probably. Take your mirror, look in the mirror and see the tip of your tongue. This is very important. You need to see your tongue right now, yeah? So, that's right. Once again, so, um, there will be time for answering questions at the end. So if you have any questions, please do ask. Um, at the end, I will respond to all of them. So um, first we will go back to our first activity uh, where you will see and you will hear what's most important, how we produce the sound in different words. So here we go. You'll see four words down there, yes, on your screen. So here we go. First I read, then you repeat after me. So, brother, mother, other, another. Once again, brother, remember about the tongue. Mother, other, another. That's right. Okay, next line. Oh, hi Sylvia, don't worry, for all of you who are uh, late, we had some technical problems today, so we, we've just started, yes? And we are practicing the sound th that we practiced in the past, but we didn't, have, uh, we didn't have it recorded. So, very nice to see you all. And here we go, the next line of th, heather, weather. Leather, feather, yeah? Remember about the tongue. In a natural conversation, in a natural speaking, we don't take the tongue out so often and so much. But for you, this is important to get used to the production, right? So, the next please. Shoot, some flies. <laughs> Here we go. Now, what you need to pay attention to uh, in this um, set is not only <laughs> the sound th, but also the previous sound. Uh, it's not the one about father first, Michal. Father. Yeah? What you need to pay attention to is long ah in the first word. So the female parent is mother, short, but the male parent is father. A bit longer, yes? Once again, father. That's right, this is my father. All right, well done. The second word is rather. Also slightly longer, but not that much. Rather. And the last word is a bit different than the previous two. And this is gather. Look, ga. Gather. Like together. That's the sound, uh, the same sound, yes? So, gather. 
I hope you all remember how we produce this air. Uh, if not, very quickly, you open the mouth to produce ah, but you say air. Air. Well, air. A bit wider, yes? Air. That's right. Gather. Okay. And the next section. The next. The, the next. Se the, uh, I need some tongue twisters <laughs> for warming up. The next set, please. And here we have breathe, breathe, the verb, yes, breathe. I know it's difficult, but you need to try to feel the vibrations on your tongue, yeah, breathe. Next one, soothe, soothe, a bit more, we need a bit more energy to produce this sound, obviously. And the last word, smooth. Smooth, smooth means to like you. Ha if if you have a piece of uh, fabric, you can smooth it using iron. Yes, yeah? smooth. Hi, Lulu. Hi, guys. Uh, let me know who's joining. Uh, let me know who's practicing with me today. Uh, thank you all for likes. And here we go. Now I would like uh, to practice with you some set of homophones. Homophones are the words that sound the same but they are spelled differently. For example. Yes? All right, so three words, the sound pronunciation. There, long air. Yes, like and gather. A bit like and gather. So, there. That's right. So, they are is there, there, not here, and their house, for example, it's their house. So they have a house, is their house. That's right. Hello, oh, hi, Joanna, very nice to uh, have you with me today. And next set of homophones, the words that sound the same. Two words, weather, yeah, so it, as you can see uh, on your screen, spelling different, right? The first word is weather that you see outside and weather, the next one, is a synonym to if, right? Next one. The next one is father. Oh, no, 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 not this one. Ah, father, sorry, yeah, because I, I have a short delay on my screen, so I didn't see it. So, father, father, first one, the first one, you already know, right? It's the male parent, but the second means it's uh, in the long distance. So, we have far, and something is even farther. That's right. The same pronunciation, but we add R, yeah? Okay, and the last one. There's, there's, long air and s, there's. So, the first one is there's, for example, it's not ours, but it's there's. For example, I don't know, the, the, the cups are not ours, they are theirs. But also, there is, so there's, right? All right, so these were homophones, words that we write uh, differently, but we produce, we pronounce the same. Um, for those who are new today, uh, we are practicing the sound. So it's voice th that we, uh, we need to take our tongue between our teeth, yeah? Okay, now what I would like to show you today um, Ah, some first, some uh, exceptions that you will see. Um, for those who are with me from, for some time, you may remember that we also have th sound. Well, it's not even a sound, it's just a puff of air, right? So the difference between th and th in very similar words. Have a look. The first uh, set. 
first word is one teeth, right? It's one teeth. So it's just puff of air. But if we want to create verb from teeth, we add e and the chain and the the sound changes to voiced one so verb is teeth for example baby a small baby is growing teeth so we say it's teething teething not teething yeah so once again teeth and teeth the sound is a bit longer and we need to feel the vibration next pair please do you have your coffees with you to wake you up? I hope you do. So, and we have, oh, and this, is, this one is really interesting because uh, first is a direction, north, yeah? Just a puff of air, north. But if we want to create an adjective, we say northern, northern. So it's totally different, right? Uh, even the middle sound and the sound, yeah? Okay, okay, I'll just move back a bit, yeah? North and northern. And uh, the same happens with south. And here we have a look, yeah? At south. So we have north and south. Adjectives, northern and southern. That's right. Yeah, the head is a bit cut. Okay, all right, so uh, we had south and southern, and now uh, the word that starts with worth, okay? Next one, please. Yes, worth? Okay, so uh, this is an exception, and sorry for the adjustments. Um, worth as wartość, right? Worth. Long er. Were. Worth. That's right. But the adjective is worthy. Worthy. That's right. It's worthy. Hmm? And the next one, please. If you have any questions, um, write down, write down them down in a section in the comment section below yes I will gladly answer any of your questions and we have bath bath yes so I go to a bathroom to take a bath but verb will be bathe bathe again with the baby so baby is teething and I'm going to bathe it bathe it yeah bathe it that's right. All right. Next one. The one that I, I've mentioned um, at the beginning, I think. So, I uh, take a deep breath, but I breathe. Once again, I take a deep breath, but I breathe. You see the long E there is, very long E. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last pair. Here, these two words are not related, but they are very similar. So the first one is moth. Moth, yes? And uh, that's, uh, I'd say, how to, it's, it's like a butterfly that flies at night. For example, yeah, it's a moth. But the second one is mother, yeah? So the sound is totally different. Moth, mother. Remember about the tongue between the teeth. This is very important today. Okay, let me show you some e exceptions in adjectives. Before we had worth and worthy and I don't think, well, I'm not sure if there is any rule. Sometimes you just need to learn some things by heart. So, have a look. We will have noun, a noun, and an adjective where the sound th is not changed, okay? As an exception. So, here we have only th 
sound, only puff of air. And we have wealth and wealthy. So it's not wealthy, yeah, but it just, the sound doesn't change. Wealth, wealthy. So wealth, oh, hi Bartek, good morning. Yes, very nice to see you. Thank you all for all the likes. Wealth and wealthy, the next pair. Here we are practicing exceptions with sound. So the voiceless sound, even though our main sound today is th. And a noun, health, health. Adjective, healthy. Yeah, healthy. That's right. And next one, filth. Filth. Do you know what is filth? Maybe somebody can give me a synonym in the comment section. What is a filth? An adjective? Filthy. Filthy. That's right. Yes? Feel the tongue between your teeth. And the last one. The last exception. Length. Mind that uh, there is no G there. Yes? We say length. Length. And that's right. And adjective filthy. Uh, no, so not filthy length and lengthy. Yeah, obviously. It's looking at. So Bartek said naughty for filthy might be. Um, but f filthy is also dirty as uh, having some stains. Filthy, yeah? Okay, so these were exceptions where the noun changing to adjective doesn't change the sound. Okay, and what I would like to do with you right now is um, maybe we will go with a game, some rhyming game. Yes, the, Michal, the rhyming game is at the end. Yes, what I would like you to do right now is give me rhyming words for the for each word that I'm going to give you all right hope you're ready the first word is brother what words rhyme with brother what words rhyme with brother write down in the comment section below Remember about the sound in the middle, ah, uh, yes, so it has to be in the word, yes? Paula Adamek, hello, very nice to see you. And I'm very happy that you're all still practicing with me today, even though it's weekend. And, oh, that's right. So, guys, what word is uh, a rhyming word or what words? Can you name for rhyming words with brother? Brother. Who can tell me? What I can tell you is that for sure will be mother. But anything else? Come on, guys, give me some answers. What words rhyme with brother? We've started with something easy, so... Hmm? Right, it might be, yeah, as I said, mother. It may be bother. It might be also... Yeah, they, you didn't drink coffee. Did, have you drank coffee today? Yeah? I'm almost finishing mine. So, might be other, might be another, yeah? Father, that's right, Joanna. Yeah, it's uh, father and brother, they're very similar, even though we need to remember that father is a bit long. Okay, next one. What words rhyme with weather? What words rhyme with weather?
Mm-hmm. Who can tell me? What words rhyme with weather? I know it's not easy, but maybe somebody can give me at least one word. Weather. Hmm? So, okay, I can give you some help. Oh, yes, Sylvia, thank you. Together, that's right. Weather together. Perfect example. Mm -hmm. Okay, might be a uh, hook and name. Some piece of, let's say, hair that birds have. Birds have it in their wings. What do we call it? Yes, Paula, together, that's right, yes. Mm -hmm. Who knows what we call these things that um, birds have in their wings? Maybe someone knows, starts with, with oh, Bartek, that's right, feather, exactly. So, feather. All right, and next one. Why don't we have a look at the next one and give me a rhyming word to there. There. What words rhyme with there? No problem, you can count on me. Hmm? Who can tell me what words rhyme with there? For example, something a bit more difficult might be, what do you call a person that um, is a grand, um, let me say, grandson of somebody rich and after this rich person death, they uh, inherit different um, possessions? Yes, so f for example, a house. What do we call this person? Someone who inherits some possessions after somebody uh, dies. And it rhymes with there. Yes, Sylvia, where? That's right. Where for sure, but it's not the answer to my question, yes? Where rhymes with there? Anything else? Who knows what we call this person mm, who gets a house, for example, or gets some money after somebody's uh, death. For sure, this word is inside our main word. Ah, so now it should be easy. Yes, so it's hair. That's right. You can see the word hair in the word there. If we skip T, we've got hair. It's a person who takes something after somebody's death, yeah? Hair, that's right, yes. Thank you, Bartek. Exactly. Okay. Um, the last one. The last one. Give me a rhyming word for the word though. Though. So what you need to look for is the sound O, yes? though. That might be the easiest, I think. We will see. Can you give me a rhyming word for the word though? Though as uh, uh, like but, yes? So it's a synonym to but. Yes, Bartek, dough. That's right. It's even similar, right? Though and dough. Dough, for those who don't know, hmm, that, that, even, that even rhymes. Dough is a form of cake, a cake, for example, for that we create for pizza, create, make uh, for pizza, yes? It's a dough, the one that we need to, you know, uh, squeeze and create, it's a dough. What else? Though, hello, yes, Michal, is it an answer for my question, to my question or is it just uh, saying hi? Because it's, it also rhymes with though, yeah? Hello and though. Ha. Okay. Though, foe, hello, do, 
We have some rhyming words here. Okay, now what I would like to show you and practice with you, these are sounds. Um, bot, no, not really. Bot, though, and bot. Even though uh, that might be uh, tricky because in bot and cot and fought we have the, so the same letters but the pronunciation is different, yeah? Mm? So, guys, uh, what I would like to practice with you right now are three different sounds that we Polish people tend to exchange instead of th. Yes, because we don't have the sound in, it, in Polish, we tend to change it to a different letter. But by changing the letter, we obviously change the meaning of the word, yes? So let, let us have a look first um, at the sound v. Th and v. Yes. First, what I want you to do is just say. V. V. Where is the lip? Where is the lip and where is the tongue? Yeah? V. Yeah. Obviously, in V, the lip touches the teeth. Yeah? V. But in V, the lip doesn't touch the teeth. So it's a bit different sound, isn't it? Hmm? So now, let's have a look at some examples. You need to be aware, in the case of V, not to use the lip to produce the sound, yes? All right. So we have the first set of words, yes? Yes, Michal? Yes? Okay, so have a look and have a go. They and vain. Look at the lip and the teeth and the, the tongue, right? Once again, they, vain. That's right. The next one. Van and than. Yes, van and than. Yeah, I know, it's like, now it's other way around, but I don't think it's a... I don't think uh, it changed anything, yeah? Van and than. Right. Now, what I want you to do is to read expressions. It will be a bit, diffi a, a bit difficult, but uh, notice how you produce each sound, yes? Pay attention. If you have a mirror, have a look uh, in the mirror and see if you pronounce it in the right way. So, here we, ha here we have a sentence. I visited those cities. Now, shortly. Look that in the first part, I joined two Vs, yeah? I visited those cities. I visited those cities. Hmm? Your turn. Come on. Remember about joining the sounds, yes? I visited those cities. Yes, okay. And the next one, please. Mm hmm. Okay. It's an expression. Mother's voice. Together, yes? Mother's voice. Mother's voice. Yeah? You hear for sure that I join the sounds. And this is what you need to do. Mother's voice. You join it. That's right. Mm hmm. Okay. Next one. Vote for them. There is no for, yes, it's only f. Vote for them. Vote for them. That's right, once again. Vote for them. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay, next one. When uh, showing something, we say it's over there, over there, yeah? Remember, v and v, over there. That's right, it's over there. Where is it? It's over there. Well done, okay. Now, so you see the v and the v sound. Now, uh, let's look at z, the and z. 
Yes, next one. V and Z. Now, how we produce Z? Can you say Z, Z, Z? How you produce? You don't put your tongue out, right? You just uh, use your teeth, kind of, to produce a Z, yeah? So, have a look. The first word we have with, with. Yes, we have it? No. No? Okay, so wait a second. Mm -hmm. Now, look, the first word, with, but the second, whiz, yeah? So we have two different words, and if you change the last sound, it changes the meaning. With and whiz. All right. Okay, next one. I see that you, you are getting the thing. Yeah, I think that you do. So, next one. And where is it? With and... Okay, got it. Then... And zen, then and zen. That's right, one other way around. Then and zen. Okay, super. I think it's super easy, yeah? Okay, have a look at the next one. Oh, these are with with the clothes, they are the most difficult. Even for me, they are really difficult because you need to combine two difficult sounds, the and z. Uh, but here First, the singular part, clothe, clothe, the first one. I know it's difficult. Have a try once again. Clothe, th, th, yeah? Clothe and close, close. Mm -hmm. And close, that's right. And the next one, very similar. Clothing, clothing. There is this sound, O, oh, yeah, O, oh. clothing and closing, closing, yeah, okay, um, all right, I think the Z and the sound, it's pretty easy now, and the last thing, the last, um, I say, exercise that I would like to show you is the difference between the and D. Now, first, let's produce D. Feel, where is your tongue? This is not my tongue. <laughs> tongue, where is the tongue when you say D? D, D. The tip should hit, yes? The part before the teeth, D. But if the, the teeth, uh, uh, the, not the teeth, the tongue goes out, yeah? So, let's have a look at some examples. And I think that this, uh, the D, is the most popular sound that we tend to exchange for the, but it's not correct. So, have a go. They, day. Ah, you see? Very often I hear day, they are, but this is not right. This is not correct, yes? So, once again, they, like they are, but day and night. Yeah? Okay. Next pair. The verb breathe, breathe, look. Try to mirror how I um, change, how I move my mouth, yeah? Breathe, and the next one is breed, breed. Mm? So I've got D at the end. Remember that at the end, like we practiced uh, last time, you need to say D, yes? So it's not T, breed, but it's breed. And breed is, a, for example, a type of dog, yeah? Okay, next one. We say something is not here, but it's there, yeah? Like we had in, in the example, over there. But if we say D, it will be there, there. There is, for example, um, something um, that we are, how to say, we have a game in English, uh, trick or dare, something like this. It means that somebody has a courage to do something, yes? It's a dare. Okay, and next one. Oh, th this one we can uh, skip though and though, we've already talked about it. But the next one is this, like this is a cup, this, this is a cup, yeah? But 
we have disc. Oh, truth or the Katarzyna, thank you, exactly. I couldn't recall what was the name of this game. Truth or dare, yeah, exactly. Katarzyna, have you ever played it? Let me know in the, in the comment section. Truth or dare, very, I think, very popular game in, um, it may be in, in Great Britain or in the States. Yeah. So, the word was, yes, oh, okay. So, Katarzyna played it. Has anybody else played Truth or Dare game here? Let's see uh, our last but one example. This and disc, yeah? This and disc. Totally different words. And two last. And here we have other, other. And we have the second word, which is the second word you see here. Other. Other. You know what's other? Other is the, uh, I would say, the breast of the cow. <laughs> yeah, so these are others, yeah? Where we, uh, we need to squeeze them to get milk. So these are others, yeah? All right, and the last one. Two very similar expressions, or, well, ex one expression, one word. And the first one is this purse. This purse, yeah? Purse. It's like this one. Oh, this is a purse, yeah? So I say this purse. But the second is a verb. Disperse. Very similar. Disperse, but with d. Disperse, yeah? Right, so this is uh, really important for you to remember about the sounds, not to exchange them, right? So for practice, I would like to um, make a game, yeah? Let's, let's play a game. I would like you to practice what you understood uh, in the activities. And what you need to do, you need to write down in the comment section one or two, like before we had in our games. And I'm going to read a question or a sentence, and you will see two words divided with a slash, yes? Let us... Um, show the first, uh, it's a question, yes? I'm going to read the question using only one word and you need to decide which word have I said. I hope it's clear, yeah? All right, I see that uh, Silvia haven't played, okay. Yeah, so the first uh, question. Uh, and, and um, yeah, and... Uh, Okay, so you see a bit different word here, but it's not a problem. Okay, so where is the other one? One or two? Which one have I said? Where is the other one? Who knows? What do you think? Which word have I said? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it once again. Where is the other one? Mm -hmm. Bartek says it's, it's one. Okay. Anybody else has a guess or uh, heard? Which word have I said? The first one or the second one? Mm -hmm. Come on, give me one more answer. And I will tell you what is the correct um, answer, which one have I said? All right, so the, uh, the correct answer is number two, because I said other, yeah, okay. So, uh, Martin, you are right, yes. Number two, other, because I could say, if, if it was the first one, I would say, where is the other one? So you would see my tongue, where is the other one, yeah? But other, uh, here, it um, means something strange, the m stranger thing, like, like the TV show. Yes, Joanna, you are right, number two. Okay. Yeah, I see there is a, a short delay, that's why I don't see your answers, like, right away. Okay, next question. It's also an uh, example, it's also a question. And here we go. 
What does they mean? What does they mean? One or two? Hmm? Who knows? One or two? And I'll drink my coffee in the meantime. Ah, uh, wait a second. I know. Yeah. Okay. Robert saying it's one. Mm -hmm. Martin saying one. You are no one. Oh, I see. That was easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. It was number one. So uh, they, they, and obviously you could see my tongue here, and that's the sound. I could say, what does they mean? They, they. So you you wouldn't see my tongue. All right. Next example. What am I saying? Mm hmm. And this is close. This is close. One or two. Which one am I saying? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Silvia says it's number two. Bartek says it's number two. Joanna number two. Yeah, I see everybody already drank their coffees. <laughs> well done, Robert two, Martin two. That was easy. Yeah, that was easy. Yes, that's right. Guys, you are all right. It was close as the second word. Yes, the first one would be clothes. Clothes. Yeah, so the, it's a very difficult word. I know, but it's good to practice it at this very moment. Clothes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Okay, next one. The last one. Which word am I saying? I hope it's not the. No, once again, once again. I hope it's not there. I hope it's not there. Yeah, I hope it's not there. One or two. Ah, say that very quickly. Say number two. Who else has a guess? Robert says it's one. Mm -hmm. Who else has a guess? Guys, come on. The, uh, that's the last um, sentence that we have here. Joanna says it's, it's number two. Mm -hmm. What else do you think? Number one or number two? Which word have I said? All right, yes, so it was number two, dare, yeah? I hope it's not dare, dare. If I said the first, it will, I hope it's not there. But now, yeah, you have the right, yes, Bartek, that's right, number two. Mm-hmm, yeah, I see, okay. Well done, yes, it's a very subtle difference. Okay, so uh, the last activity that I have prepared for you is that two short tongue twisters with the sound th and th, so that you can practice it in the extreme condition, I'd say, yeah? So, have a look. You will see a short, um, well, short or maybe not that short, <laughs> tongue twister. Not, uh, not uh, well, the speed is not the most important here today, but how you produce and how you pronounce the words, yes? So pay attention to have uh, your tongue between your teeth, the, on, yeah? In all of the words. Let's go. First, um, I want you to listen to me and then you repeat, all right? So here we have, I need to have a look, yeah. They thankfully think this thing is the best thing that they can throw. The three times they need to throw a thing, yeah? So slowly, no rush, yeah? Once again, your turn. Here we go. They thankfully think. This thing is the best thing that they can throw. Three times they need to throw a thing. 
Yeah, I know, it's, it's really difficult. If you made a mistake, go back, say it once again. If you can uh, read it faster, read it faster, of course. They thankfully think this thing is the best thing that they can throw. Three times they need to throw a thing. Oh, that was really difficult. Yeah, okay, all right. Let me know how you did it. And the last tongue twister with a th and the sound is... A bit shorter one. The 33 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Slowly, yes, no rush, once again. The 33 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Hmm? Ah, yeah, I know, I know it's very hard, but it's one of the best activities you can do to practice TH sound. The last time, yes, practice with me. Read it, uh, pay attention to the sounds. The 33 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Yes. Well done. I think, yes, yes, very good, very good. Any try is uh, good if you try to practice in the right way. So, um, today's meeting was an exception on Saturday. Uh, next week, we normally meet uh, on Thursday at half past eight. Um, if you have any questions, as I said at the beginning, you can, uh, you can ask them in the comment section below. Even if you watch uh, offline, you can also ask. I will answer uh, your questions. And thank you very much. I wish you fantastic weekend, R lot of relax and um, time for yourself. And we see you next Thursday. Thank you very much. I will be here like one last minute so that if you have um, anything you want to tell me or ask me, I will be here for just one more minute, yes? Hi Martin, a bit too late, we're finishing, but you can always watch it offline and... Robert, thank you very much. Why didn't you write it in English? I would always, you know, I can always read it in English and if you want I can always give you feedback. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you could um, learn something today with me. Thank you, Joanna. Very nice to have you here today. Okay, yeah, I think so. I will go now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Sylvia, for joining. as well. Thank you Bartek, thank you Marcin um, and have a good weekend. Cheers!